Our own Washington bureau chief, John Hines, joins us from Washington with the latest. John, good to see you. See you. It's great to see you. Great to talk to you. And uh, happy return to Congress. Like a herd of turtles. <laughs> I like a herd of turtles. Well, I know that they're rearing to go, but where are they going? At this point, you've got two new Senate bills threatening to um, reverse the progress made and fostering kind of a flexible and efficient federal workforce. Um, there's some bills that are on the table that are going to be in flux. Give us a preview of what this next couple of weeks will look like and what this kind of final sprint to the election looks like from a big picture point of view. Sure. Well, from a big picture, you'll hear a lot about the border, as you mentioned, and you'll hear a lot about government funding. And what's going on is it looks like they're going to have to go for a continuing resolution, which would maintain budget levels at the current level and go on into the next year, which would be 2025. Uh, the, the Senate hasn't passed any of their appropriations measures to keep the government funded. The House has passed about five of them. And so they're way behind. And what's going to happen is the House is going to pass a CR, and they'll want to attach something called the SAVE Act. And the SAVE Act is uh, yeah. basically a require. Uh, yes, yeah, see? It's all coming back to you now, Chanel. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, basically, that would require uh, identification, but require only citizens being able to vote. And in par as part of that, you right. would require identification or proof of citizenship uh, before you register to vote. And so when you go for the motor voter license at your DMV, you would have to show proof of citizenship in order to register to vote. And so that's what the House is going to do. And they're basically going to dare the Democrats over on the Senate side not to vote for that or to vote against it because they believe it is five percent issue they believe potentially it would give their lawmakers uh, running for the senate and remember we have several key senate races uh, and also house lawmakers running for re-election republicans as well as mr trump an issue an issue to run on so that will be coming along and that will be probably will suck a lot of the oxygen out of the air a big conversation about citizens voting or non-citizens voting or about having only citizens voting. And then that larger question right. of, of border security and illegal immigrants. So you're going to hear a lot more about that and you're going to hear a lot about government spending. And so that's going to be probably the biggest issue uh, that you'll hear about. But some other things in the Senate particularly, Senate of course is run by the Democrats. Uh, Project 2025. A lot of Democrats want to make an issue of this. This is this, um, I guess it's sort of a, oh, a guide path or a guidebook, uh, rules, suggestions, policy and personnel suggestions for an incoming administration, conservative policy and personnel suggestions for presumably a Trump administration. It was formulated by the Heritage Foundation it's called Project 2025. Presumably, it was formulated in part by some former Trump administration uh, policy gurus over there. And the Democrats feel like they have a big issue. And they have formed a, a task force basically to expo expose this issue. So you can look forward to hearing more about that. And in the Senate, of course, that's where the Democrats control the hearing process. So look for some hearings on this Project 2025 to try to, they say, expose this and sort of tar the Trump administration, the Trump campaign and Republicans with this conservative policy agenda developed by the Heritage Foundation. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard hitting, straight shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.